This video is all about making the Whistler sweater from Love Notions with a lined hood in coordinating or contrasting fabric. As you probably know, the Whistler sweater from Love Notions has been re-released to include extra small to 5X sizing, to include a full redraft and retest so that it is on our new software, and it also includes a dress version. Now, one of the things that I love in my hoodies is having an interior lining that is in a contrasting fabric. And the way that the Whistler hoodie is set up um, the contrasting fabric is not really possible. So I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy modification to your pattern piece to make it possible. First, let me tell you the materials that you will need in order to do this modification. First of all, I suggest that you get some tracing paper. You will also need the Whistler hood pattern piece. You will also need uh, some kind of cutting tool. You will need some tape. And last but not least, you're going to need two pencils that are taped together. And the reason that they're taped together is because these two points right here are now exactly three eighths of an inch apart, and it will help us create an accurate seam allowance on the pattern piece. Um, oh, also you will need your fabric. I am going to be using a really soft and cozy French terry as my main fabric. And then I have a thinner fabric for the interior of the hood, um, which I think works pretty well for this hack. And um, that is in this striped model. So before we dive into making this pattern modification, I wanted to show you what the original pattern piece looks like for the hood for the Whistler. A lot of people miss on this pattern piece is that this marking right here says place on the fold and you're gonna cut two of these placed on the fold. Some people might think that if you're cutting two of it, one will be the lining and one will be the exterior of the hood and that's not the case. If you take a look at this already created hood, you will see that this fold right here is indicated right here and it does not allow for you to make the interior in a different coordinating or contrasting fabric. Um, and so what we'll need to do is add in a seam allowance right along this edge where it says place unfold and then we are going to um, cut that out to make a slightly altered pattern piece to allow for that um, coordinating fabric on the interior of the hood. So how we will do that is we will lay out some tracing paper. This is STP, Swedish tracing paper, and this is really nice to just have in your sewing studio. And we're gonna place the original pattern piece down on your area and you're gonna tape it along that edge. Then we'll grab our handy 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance marker and we're going to line one edge of the pencil up against the edge of the pattern piece, and then the other one will be free to draw in that 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Next, I'm just gonna cut out the new pattern piece with the modifications that were made and then I'll be able to cut out my lining fabric with that pattern piece, two mirrored uh, pieces, and then I'm gonna cut out my main fabric, also two mirrored pieces. All right, so there we have it. 
We have made our lined Whistler hoodie with a contrasting fabric by adding a seam allowance where the fold line was supposed to be. So now here are my two pattern pieces. They look just as they would and they're ready to go per the pattern directions. I can just pick up where um, at the beginning of the pattern now.